Well hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, just recently I did a little bit of a clean up in the, uh, in the workshop and in the patio and I came across all these uh, old projects of uh, gears and pulleys and electricity and things and I thought I'd go through a series of them to see what I learned during the process uh, before I throw them out. Now as I got into making uh, teeth and uh, gears and things I wanted to get more uh, speed on my uh, pulley end of things and so I decided to make a larger gear with a small gear of a uh, a broomstick handle. Now it definitely does get a, a better velocity, quite decent in fact, but the teeth being this small what tended to happen was the broom handle being across grain, the, the, the wood is not strong enough really and they tend to shear off the teeth and so while it worked it's not a uh, foolproof method. So next I uh, sized the teeth up a little bit and just had a bit of practice at getting better uh, meshing with teeth about this size, larger than the other ones but not quite as um, large as later. But that worked all right, just practice. Then I decided to try a, a triple train going one to another to another, going larger and smaller and just practicing uh, getting better meshing, smoother contact and in this case I used a drill bit with rounded teeth rather than the pointed ones and that worked fairly well. The next one was an exercise in doing a triple uh, to a uh, two big ones, uh, two smaller uh, pinions and the final pulley to see whether that would be good enough to run a motor off. Also I tried a different technique of using sticks uh, embedded into the cylinder or the, uh, the circle of, of timber there to mesh in there. Uh, also I wanted to pick up speed so this one was a little bit clunky but it still works alright I suppose for what it is anyway still a bit clunky but I was getting quite fast at doing those and so it's a bit rough The next one I decided to take all of that uh, learning and put it into something actually functional with a generator include, included. And we have the pulley here with the uh, larger pinion crank hand with the crank handle with square uh, shafts and all that with the larger teeth to the pinion in here uh, into the pulley sunk into the pulley. Those once again are a little bit fiddly to get in there but it works and it worked fine enough. The next one was a development of getting away from those those sticks in the pulley, having a pulley and using pegs, vertical uh, or, or perpendicular pegs that mesh into the teeth of the larger uh, uh, gear. Then I tried another little trick uh, of taking a broom handle again and putting eight little poles of the right distance to mesh into those and it worked quite nicely. So those are two extras using pegs or sticks into the pulley and into the broom handle and that worked quite nicely. The next was just another practice session of putting a shaft in with a, a square uh, shaft in the middle of that larger uh, gear, the poles in here with the pulley on and the beginnings of a crank handle and just seeing how much faster and well that I could make it. I also reinforced this um, composite co uh, gear with a, a board on one side and that worked quite nicely uh, getting a lot quicker and better at making those gears. 
having successfully made a PVC turbine on a broomstick and putting the a stepper motor directly on the broom at the end of the broom handle that gave me an idea to eliminate the pulley and so what I did was took a stepper motor and stuck it on the broom handle, turned that into a pinion to mesh with the larger uh, gear and that works quite nicely using the motor or the generator as one half of the axle and the other supported here. That seems to show quite a bit of potential to avoid belts and uh, pulleys pulleys and belts just go direct drive to the motor and I think I'll develop that one in the next step that's as far as I got and I think we could improve that quite a bit still and with that in mind I think I'll go back to this kind of pole type of uh, pinion here and where the shaft is there I will basically put a stepper motor so that those those poles will be spinning around the outside of the body of that uh, stepper motor with that inside the poles in there basically where that shaft is that motor will be and that's something that I'll try later on